Hello and welcome to FPMG. In this video, I'll show you how to use FPMG to generate form, PHP code and MySQL code for a dynamic website or a web application. So let's get started. As you can see over here, I have already pre-filled the fields information that I would like to generate. So let me quickly tell you what each of these things stand for. The syntax stands for the syntax that you would like to generate along with the form. So let's say if you want to generate insert statement, select, update and delete statements when the form is generated, you can check these. If you don't want to generate any kind of specific syntax, you can uncheck that. But because I would like to show you how all of this works, I would like to check it. And here table stands for the name of the table in which we would like to insert the data into. So I would like to insert the form values into a table called feedback in my database. So feedback represents the name of the table. Form action represents the name of the page to which my form information will be posted. In my case, I would like to name the page as feedback.php and coming over to the fields information, we can add a field to the form by just simply clicking the add field button like so and to delete a field simply click on this button that will help you delete the form field so having said that let's see what each of these things stand for input label represents the name of the form field element which a user can see input type represents the type of form element that you would like to generate Process represents whether you want to include the value of this form field element in the database or not. I would like to include the value of the first name in my database, so I'm selecting yes. For any form field element that I don't want to include in my database, such as the hidden input element and submit button, I have chosen no for the process. And input name would be the name for the form field element and this would also represent the name of the column in which my data would be inserted DB call name is an alternate field name into which the data from this form field element will be inserted into so by default the first name value from this form field would be inserted in a column by the name first underscore name. If I wish to store the value of this field in a different column name in the database, I can enter it over here. So let's say I want to store it in a column name called F name. I can do that over here. But I don't want to do that right now, so I'm going to remove that. And this is a text box. I would like to generate a text box, so I have selected the text type. So moving on to the second field, it's a subscribe and there's a checkbox and it has a couple of values and those values need to be entered on a separate line and I want to store that information in the database so I've selected yes over here. The third one is the gender which is a radio button again with a couple of values on their own line. State, I've selected the select drop down and with a couple of values. Comments would represent a text area. Password would represent an input type of password. Attachment. I want this to be a text, but as you can see here in the DB call name, I want the value from this form field to be stored in a database column that goes by the name final underscore name, and that's why I have written over here. I will show this to you in a second in our code how or where it is represented so it's it's clear for you and hidden is a input form element that I would not want to store in the database in I would be using the hidden input element to share some information for my processing but I would not want the user to see it so I have chosen the input type as hidden and I don't want to store this information in the database so I've selected it as no. Finally I need the submit button 
in my form so I have chosen the submit input type and I don't want to store this in the database and having said that that finishes our form fields for the form let's go ahead and generate the form and okay let's just see how the form is going to look I'm going to copy that paste it and let me show you how the form is going to look now without any CSS this is how it's going to look so I'm going to go to the CSS tab copy the code paste it over here and save it there you go now it looks nice and tidy and if you have noticed we have one two three four five six seven eight form fields over here and the hidden input element is missing so here is what we have entered the hidden because it's hidden it's not visible in the form but whereas if we inspect the element we can see that over here so that's how hidden input element works and then let me just copy the variables the php variables let me also copy the query so as you can see this is our form we have generated our form successfully with all the form field elements this is our sample style sheet that you can modify it as per your liking and here is our PHP code with all the variables and their assignment and here is the MySQL code that lets you grab the values from these variables and insert it into the database okay let's look at what the insert statement is doing over here my insert statement is inserting into the database table called feedback into all of these columns and notice that the value from first name is being inserted in a column by the name first name subscribe goes into subscribe gender into gender state into state comments into comments password into password but attachment is going into the file name column so if you remember we have actually used the DB column name by the text file name and so as I mentioned file name represents the actual name of the database column in all the other cases the column name was same as the form input name and that's why we didn't provide any other column names but here in this case the DB column name is file name and hence we have provided file name as the name for the database column and all the queries that we have chosen earlier the insert select update and delete are generated the insert select update and delete are generated so all you have to do is paste all these PHP and MySQL code in the form called feedback.php if you were to follow the similar example that I have just created but this would vary as per your uh, programming needs hope you guys find this tutorial to be useful and if you have any feedback or comments please share with us like the video if you do and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching